Hey, so if you've seen my previous videos, you've seen that I made a game Battle Brain and released it for Microsoft HoloLens. Now I want to show the next game that I released, which is Super Mega Sudoku. It's already been released. It's in the um, Microsoft Store right now, so you can go and check it out. Uh, pretty much I want to walk through uh, some of the features of the game. I got like five minutes to do it because you can only record up to like five minutes in HoloLens. So let's see, it's a lot of features to cover. So just like before, it does tracking no matter where you look you can move the board or you can also pin the game so I'm gonna put it here pin game pin game there we go so that's just gonna pin it there in the spot uh, preferably off of the TV let's move that over there a little bit let's see yeah it looks good pin game there we go so um, some of the features that we have of course I put a how to play on here it tells you about Sudoku if you never played it, but pretty much a lot of people know Sudoku, so... Uh, but it's there in case you need it. Um, of course, I have a rate game, which I highly recommend that you go and do, because the game's free. All I ask is that you go out there and rate it. Um, and this will take you straight to the page where you can leave a excellent five-star rating. Um, I added options. So in this game, I give... Um, when you play Sudoku, you can either play difficulty here, and just like before, you can use um, voice command for all of the menus. Um, easy. See? So there you go for that. Go back. Um, also, uh, puzzle under here, you can have random puzzles, which is the default, or you can have symmetric um, looking puzzles. Oh, see? Voice command works. So we're going to step through those differences later in the game. Hopefully I can get to it within five minutes. So when you go to play, you have three options. You have classic, battle, and challenge. So let's do the first one. This is just basic classic Sudoku. You get a board. You can go through. Um, you have a timer that helps keep track of your time when you're playing classic mode. And to interact with the board, uh, it tells you, it gives you a tip at the bottom. You can either say clear or any number that you want. So you can say, for instance, you just gaze at what you want and you say three, two, one. So something like that. Now, if you don't want to use voice commands, sometimes you can't talk and play the game. I did add full gesture commands. So I had to figure out a way how you can use gestures to play this game. So when you select something with a gesture, you get this circular ring. Uh, of course, if you gaze away from it, it disappears. But as long as you're within this ring, you can go around. I do highlight the numbers. And you can do it this way without having to talk at all. You can just go through and select it, or you can take a box and clear it. So that's how you do that. Um, so I'm not going to go through the whole game. I'm just going to show you some of the options. Um, in the Sudoku game, I gave you the option to check your progress. So let's do that. And then the um, Sudoku master comes up and he tells you, oh, you have three wrong. You've made too many mistakes. And he'll tell you different things and um, um, as you go along. So he'll tell you if you've got three wrong to give you a little bit of hint. You could also just choose to solve the puzzle if you want to. If you get frustrated, you get a um, prompt here so you don't do it by accident. Yes. So there, it solved the puzzle for you and it shows you, it blinks and shows you what numbers you could have added in. So if you like Sudoku and some, this is nice game try out of course when you beat it now we can go back to the main menu um, you'll see you have a best time option where um, there's an assistant here of the master and she tells you your the best time that you have of course I have no times because I haven't completed anything but you can keep track of your best time for each level let's go back to the main menu so under battle hi solve the puzzle with me the one with the most correct numbers at the end is the winner. So in battle mode, you get to play against her. And pretty much what it is is you can look over here. There's a score. You can see how many she has right and how many you have, which is a mystery. You don't find it out until the end because that would be kind of cheating. And what would happen is you would just basically go through and you would fill in your numbers. And over time, she would appear and she's going to pop up and she's going to insert her numbers. And whoever has the, the most numbers at the end is the winner. So that's how you play battle. And then the last option is challenge. So you can solve the puzzle without picking too many wrong numbers. There's no time limit, so focus. So the master, Sudoku master is telling you that. And this one you get, um, there's a hearts at the top left corner to tell you how many mistakes you can make. So you go through the game, pretty much you enter your numbers. Obviously that's wrong. And But if you get something right, which 
Oh, okay. Sorry about that. The video ran out. Like I said, we have five minutes to talk, so Holland's kind of cut me off, so I'm coming back. Um, but to pick up where I left off at, <clears throat> in the mode where you get to have um, challenge mode, like I said, so you can't make that many mistakes. I've already made two mistakes, so I have three left. I'm going to try to actually guess one so that you can see that you can actually get it right. Okay, so I know over here there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, but there's no nine in this box. So I know that this is right. So if you get one right, just go and select nine. There we go. So you see, you get a nice check mark. You don't lose any hearts. And if you can clear the whole board without making too many mistakes, you win and it keeps track of, you know, how many times you win. And of course, if you don't win, let's see how that looks. I'm going to use all my mistakes. And oh, that was actually right. Okay, let's just throw another two here. There we go. Try again. So sad. And over here, you um, have an indicator because I have to try to let users know uh, how to navigate the game. So once the game is over, you can view the board, see what you could have did, what your mistakes were. And then you have an arrow pointing over here to tell you you can go over here to this menu to, if you want to continue with the game. So let's use some voice commands for that. Open. And you can do a new game or menu. So let's do new game. And as you can see, the uh, background changes, the tile color changes. So there are different themes of the game. Let's go back now. And we're going to go to... Oh, let's see. Yeah, I didn't complete anything, so we don't need to go there. Go back to the main menu. So let's do that. Main menu. Oh, and that's pretty much it. So you got this uh, 2D game, uh, Sudoku game that I've taken and I've made into a 3D holographic game. And please go check it out. Leave me some awesome um, ratings and some awesome reviews. And I'll see you next time.